Hello everyone. Today I will tell you about Hexalem. Our goal was to create a fun multiplayer game. We wanted to create a Unity demo project to showcase that building a Polkadot game in Unity is in fact possible. No one else has done this before. I would also want to highlight that we came up with the whole idea of this game during the hackathon. We brainstormed different things then we made the concepts and designs, and lastly, we were able to release it on Google Play and deploy the chain on Tansy. Hello, my name is Cedric, and I'm going to present you the Hexalem demo today. Hexalem itself is a multiplayer on-chain strategy game where you are in some kind a god and you use the resources to make your humans happy. You place tiles, there are seven different tiles and there are patterns that you can create and they do create resources to make your humans happy. You can upgrade tiles to make more place for your humans and the goal is to get as many humans as you can so they believe in you uh, as you are their god and the more they believe the more mana they, you get and the more mana you have the more you can place tiles and the goal is to be faster better richer and more powerful than your opponents here is the architecture of hexalem we made a subsidiary node with a custom hexalem palette to handle and validate the game logic this node is deployed to tansy hexalem.net.blockchain part handles the connection to the node from c sharp code hexalem engine takes part of the logic on the client side. Hexalem integration combines hexalem.net.blockchain and hexalem engine. Lastly, we created a Unity UI application, which is exposed to end users. This application is released on Google Play under the internal testing. As you can notice, we do not rely on any centralized server. All game logic is handled by Substrate. The best part about Unity is that it can be released on all platforms, including iPhones, gaming consoles, and computers. Okay, I think that's it. Demo time, let's start. So just for the sake of the demo, I'm going to clear everything here, restart the node from scratch. So what we're going to do is we're going to launch here the simulator for the Android builds. Uh, here we can change uh, up to four players. At the moment, we haven't added the valid integration, like creating new accounts, but that's easy. So I'm going to choose here Bob and going to enter here. I'm going to create now a multiplayer game. So both can play Alice and Bob. And let me do this first. So we will add. Alice and Bob here and add like a 25 grid size game. And you will see that as soon as I create this game, it will automatically update the two clients to be able to participate. So let's go back here, explore. As you see, hey, bro, two buddies are waiting. They're gonna join now as Alice and join here as Bob. They use separate grids, but they tile the selection of the grid. So Alice will be able to choose now from a desert tile or from a cave tile, which Alice has one mana, so she's able to play one tile. I'm gonna place now this tile here, for example, and it's now waiting on validation. Here you see the time. So I'm gonna choose end turn and then Bob will have its turn. So it's now Bob's turn and Bob has the chance to play a tree, which trees are obviously a little bit better than the desert and he has no more mana, so he will choose the end turn now. And as you see on the right, it's all on chain and moving from one side to the other. So the goal is like to get 10 uh, humans as fast as possible. There is a lot of possible extensions like upgrading, each tiles and creating more patterns. I think I will stop here the demo because it's more or less what we have been creating. Bye.